Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Marilyn Gale. Listen, guys, in a stunning reversal, Chicago pros- prosecutors on Tuesday dropped all charges against Empire actor Jussie Smollett just weeks after he was indicted on 16 felony counts for allegedly filing a false police report. Smollett, 36, was seen arriving at a Chicago courtroom around 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday for an emergency hearing. Following his court appearance, his attorneys released a statement saying that the actor's record has been wiped clean of the filings of this tragic complaint against him. Jesse was attacked by two people he was unable to identify on January 29th. He was a victim who was vilified and made to appear as a perpetrator as a result of false and inappropriate remarks made to the public causing an inappropriate rush to judgment, the statement read. Jesse and many others were hurt by these unfair and unwarranted actions. This entire situation is a reminder that there should never be an attempt to prove a case in the court of public opinion. This is wrong. It is a reminder that a victim, in this case, Jesse, deserved dignity and respect. Dismissal of charges against the victim in this case was only just re- uh, the result. Uh, and I am reading a statement. A smullet was charged earlier this month by a grand jury of 16 felony counts of disorderly conduct for making a false report according to the criminal complaint. In February, he was charged with felony disorderly conduct after a police officer said he orchestrated the alleged hate crime in January on himself because he was unhappy with his salary on the show Empire. His role on the Fox series where he played Jamal Lyons was cut from the final episodes of the fifth season to avoid further disruption on set. The show's executive producer said in a joint statement on February 22nd, Smollett had told police on January 29th that he was beaten up by two masked men while he was out getting food in Chicago's Streeterville neighborhood. The actor, who was black and gay, said his attack uh, said his attackers hurled racist and homophobic slurs before punching him, putting a noose around his neck, and pouring what he said was bleach on him. Brothers Ola and Abel were arrested in February as police investigated the alleged assault, but were later released by police. They are not considered suspects. In a statement following the news of Smollett's charges being dropped, the brothers' legal team said they are still reviewing all legal stuff. Uh, It goes on to mention uh, that he was labeled a suspect in his own uh, assault case. Uh, He was released from jail on a $10,000 of a $100,000 bond. Uh, And it just goes on and on. Um, Now, I will put the description of the link by NBC News in the uh, description. But listen, guys, it said that the charges were dropped. And a lot of times when child, I'm no attorney, but I do know this with people working in the court system, very close people uh, that I know working in the court system. Um, when the drops, uh, charges are dropped, uh, a lot of it's because the pros- prosecutors, uh, they just don't want to go on with the case. Uh, sometimes the reason is they feel like they don't have enough evidence to make that conviction, you know, that they're going for a stick. Um, now, I don't know what this is going to mean for Smollett. Will he be back on Empire, I wonder? Because it hasn't, you know, this case hasn't proven that he did it. This case has not proven that he didn't do it. The the charges, just all 16, were just dropped. Um, 
So I'm not sure what's going to happen with Empire. Will they still be sketchy, you know, in bringing him back? Um, and I think, I think with the check, with him writing that down, and I know, I know people, you can write something down on a check and it doesn't have to necessarily mean that, but that's another thing that, you know, they cannot prove. No one can prove, prosecutors can't prove that the check was not for uh, what he says it's for. Even even though it may have been for something else, they just can't prove it because he put in the memo for for the uh, training. So, you know, of course, he's not going to put down payment for someone beating me up, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's, that's what's, you know, that was what put down that... Uh, uh, training services. Also, um, Smollett didn't budge. No matter how bad it looked, you know, against him, he did not budge. He st- stuck to whatever, what he was saying, whether it's true or not, he stuck with it. He didn't crumble. He didn't, um, he didn't, he didn't admit to anything. So I'm thinking, you know, um, prosecutors just could not prove that he was lying. Uh, although there's uh, footage of the two brothers buying certain things, uh, the prosecutors again, it's just too many, I guess, holes for them to feel confident. And if the prosecutors don't feel confident that they will get a conviction Either they hold off and uh, you no, know, don't do anything at the time. They they don't they stop pursuing it. Uh, and um, in this case, Jesse gets to go free, and and all of those charges are wiped off his record. He has a clean record now, and. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to keep investigating as far as, uh, you know, as far as, as, as him being guilty, uh, of that and just trying to find more evidence. Now, the article did say that they, you know, the, the attorneys of the brothers, it, it sounds like it's still something going on, uh, according to his attorneys, if I, if I read that right. But guys, um, the statement was, I read the statement and, uh, he's, he's exonerated from the charges for now. You know, um, I don't know whether, like I said, I don't know whether they're going to try to pursue it, um, just to make an example of him, but they have been dropped. And I don't think the prosecutors, because I think they dug and dug and dug and whatever they couldn't find, um, you know, they probably won't be able to find later because certain things that the brothers, you know, are not uh, there. The brothers were saying the check was for services also. So, you know, if they would have said something different, I think they would have had more of a case against Jesse um, if they were willing to testify testify against him saying, well, okay, that check that he, he paid us because we were supposed to, to, uh, beat him up. And that was not said. Uh, they clearly said that the check was not for that. So anyway, uh, he is, um, he's free to go. He's free to do whatever. I wonder if his name has been tarnished that people don't want to hire him still because a lot of people are still going to think he's guilty anyway. And like I said, it doesn't, the charges were dropped. It doesn't prove innocence or guilt. They were just dropped. Prosecutors decided not to go on with it. I'm wondering how that police chief is feeling because he was just, you know, uh, dogmatic about Jesse being guilty and that he wasted the time uh, of the, of the uh, department. And uh, how could a um, black man uh, do such a thing and, you know, putting that noose around? You know, he he has some really, um, he was really dogmatic about the whole situation. So I'm wondering how he feels. But you know what? Um, 
you know, it's, it's done. I, uh, he has a clean slate. So that's all we have to go on that charges are dropped. We, we can't say he's guilty. We can't say he's innocent. The charges were dropped. So anyway, thank you for joining me, guy. I just got a hold of this, um, NBC information, uh, and, um, if you need further things come out about this case, which I doubt, uh, for right now, you know, I'll bring it to you, but, uh, it looks like it's, it's a done deal for now. So thank you for joining me. If you not, if you have not subscribed, please do so now and click that notification bell and, um, everyone have a great day. Talk to you later.